everyone, happy Valentine's Day. It's coming up on Thursday, and I thought that I would do this look for you guys, no matter what occasion you guys have going on for the kissing holiday, I guess. Um, so I did these eyes, which is a hot pink crease, and kind of, it's kind of bold, kind of Valentine's Day-ish, but not too crazy. And then I'm giving you guys three different lip looks that you guys can use, no matter what your plans are for the holiday. So if you're just staying in, or if you're going out on a date with a group of friends or something, or if you just have a hot date with your boyfriend, you can use this eye look, and then whatever lips that you guys choose from the three I give you, I think they'd all work out well. So I'm also doing a review at the end of these Sexy Booster products by Physicians Formula. So if you'd like to see about these because I know they're fairly new or if you'd like to see what I think you guys should use please keep on watching okay so I already applied my foundation and concealer and uh, powder and I did my eyebrows so if you want to see how I do that I just did a video on get ready with me to go out to the bar and it's basically I did the same exact thing that I did today so the next step that we are going to be doing after you guys get all that situated is taking the Too Faced uh, shadow insurance and applying that to our eyes Make sure there's not a brush hair on your finger. <laughs> and just apply this all over and all the way up to the brow bone and a little bit underneath your lid by your lash line. Okay, so I'm going to be taking Stila Kitchen and applying this all over the lid. If you don't have this eyeshadow and you have the Naked Palette, because I know a bunch of you guys have the Naked Palette, you can take Sin, which is this color right here. They're not exactly the same, but they give a really similar effect. So I'm just going to take Stila Kitten um, with a flat shadow brush and applying this all over to the lid. Make sure that you um, try to um, what's it called? tap off the excess because this shadow is, it's not, um, it's not chalky, but it's a very, um, it called? It has a lot of fallout, if you can tell by the pan of it, so just be careful. <laughs> and go ahead and take this into the inner corner of your eye as well, because this will just brighten up your whole eye and make it look pretty. So now that we have our base color down, we are going to go into <sighs> this hot pink from the Vice palette called Noise, and we are just going to take this in a fluffy crease brush and try not to go overboard and we're just gonna pop this in the crease we don't we really want this uh, this kitten color to show because we don't want to overpower our eyes with this pink but we do want to give a pop of the color so just taking this kind of crease brush this is um just a blending eye brush from elf and Really tapping off the excess. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so nervous, guys. <laughs> and just applying this, kind of dotting it into the crease at first. Oh geez. Well, definitely gonna have to go back in and apply more kitten. <laughs> I feel like a Barbie, kind of. I feel like she, doesn't she wear like hot pink and hot purple in her crease? This is like nuts. So now that this is a little intense, we're going to go and blend this pink color out. So we're going to be taking Naked from the Naked palette. And this is my absolute favorite blending color um, because it's close enough to my skin tone that it doesn't really show up. So just taking this on a bigger even bigger fluffy brush than I was taking with the pink and just going over that and blending it out. We don't want any harsh lines with this crazy color. Now for the brow bone, I'm going to be taking Virgin from the Urban Decay Naked Palette. And just applying that up here. Since I do want to be applying false eyelashes, I'm going to be taking this uh, Be A Bombshell Liquid Eyeliner. Now I'm going 
going to be taking my eyelash curler and applying this Buxom Bare Essentials mascara in Black is Black. Next, I'm going to be taking these um, e.l.f. Studio Flirty Lash Collection eyelashes, and these are just like a half lash in the flirty, and I'm going to be applying those with my duo lash glue. So I'm just applying these to the outer corners. Ooh. So while the glue is drying on our eyelashes, obviously you can see that there's a big white blob. I'm going to be doing the cheeks. So I'm going to be taking Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer and contouring with this. And since we have the pink on our eyes, I'm going to be taking this blush in Peachy Keen. This is just a very natural looking blush. I don't want to apply a lot of it because there's, you know, there's a lot, not a lot going on with the eyes, but that's the color pop you want. You don't want it popping on your cheeks, so... And to highlight, I'm going to be taking this Physician's Formula Sexy Booster Bronzer. And it's very shimmery, that's why I'm using it as a, bron uh, as a highlighter. So applying it on my cheekbones, down my nose, and on my cupid's bow. If you can see already, that's, it looks really nice. <laughs> it really pops out. I'm also going to apply it over that bronzer just to give a little bit more of a glow. So back to the eyes, um, now that the glue has dried pretty much, I'm going to be going back over the eyeliner in this Essence Liquid Liner in black. So there we have it. Here's the look without lips. I'm going to give you guys the three different looks uh, with your lips that you guys can do depending on what you're planning on doing for the night. So my first one is that if you have like a big date because let's be honest you're probably going to be kissed on Valentine's Day and no guy wants to get some like bright red or bright pink or bright blue or anything all over his lips or cheeks or anything. So this is a very nude look. This would be Ferris Nude by L'Oreal which is just a very nude um, color if you if you want to wear a color again like this will not transfer onto them because it's such a nude color if you really don't want to wear anything and you don't want to risk it just wear some lip balm but um you can put this gloss over top of the ferris nude which is nyx lump plump lip plumper or pump it up lip plumper in jessica and it's just like a glittery thing i usually just apply in the center of my lips so that's an option that if you have a really big date. I'm going to be applying the L'Oreal Ferris Nude in NYX Lip Plumper in Jessica just so you guys can get a look at what it looks like. This is my option that I would wear if I had a date on Valentine's Day and I mean you can kind of see that it does but if you're going to be eating and drinking, it probably won't last that long anyway, and, you know, it's not a noticeable lip color that will really show up on his skin or anything. So, so the next option is basically if you're going to be going out with your girlfriends, because, you know, you want to have fun with your look, and you love Valentine's Day, so you're not, like, grumpy or anything, but, you know... Basically, you just want to have some fun with your look. So I would recommend the NYX, Ex NYX Extreme Lip Cream in... Dolly Girl. 
which is this hot pink color. It's very extreme. So you would not be going on a date with this if you're going to be kissing someone. And then I would top it off with this Physician's Formula pH Matchmaker Lip Gloss, and this is in hot pink, I believe. Oh, just in pink. And this, um, if you guys are like going out or whatever, this has a light in it and it also has a mirror. So um, it's just a nice lip gloss to take out on the town and it's just a very complimentary color to the lips. Now I'm going to be taking the NYX Extreme Lip Cream in Dolly Girl and the Physician's Formula pH Matchmaker in pink and applying that so you guys can see the look. That's what these two colors look like together with the look. I personally like this if you were going to be going out and you didn't have a date um, because this is going to stay on forever. The color is going to stay like this and you're not going to be wanting to get this on your date. So do not wear this if you are going to be kissing someone. <laughs> The next option I want to give you guys is something I'm going to give you a little mini review on right now along with this uh, bronzer highlighter that we use. And it's the Physicians Formula Sexy Booster Lip Stain in Red. So I'll go ahead and apply that for you guys just so you can guys get, get a glance of what it looks like on. Just applying a little bit of lip balm under it. I'm going to let this dry for a second and then I'm going to come back and do another coat just so you can see exactly how pigmented it can be and then I'm going to do the kiss test. So. so I think the lips are pretty dry right now um, but you can see like it already came off so I will do the kiss test. So you can see that it does come off. But as I was saying that this, even though it is coming off, I should have probably let it uh, sit for a little bit longer, but it's going to fade as the night progresses. So you are going to get more of a pink look as opposed to the bright red lip look that we have had going on. So this will keep going on off your drinks and, you know, so you might start out the night with a bright red lip, but you will probably end the night with something that is kind of stained on your lips but isn't going to transfer anymore. So then you can... If you found a boy or something or your friend decides to surprise you with a kiss, you'll be fine. So, um, yeah. So just keep that in mind that it is going to transfer. It's not a true lip stain like it claims. But I really do like the color that it gives and the smell. And, hey, maybe it does have pheromones. Maybe it will get you kissed. I'm not sure. <laughs> and I really just wanted to talk about this bronzer since I know that not a lot of people have been reviewing the Sexy Booster uh, products, but I think that this is such a great highlighter. I did buy it to be a bronzer. I didn't realize what it was actually going to be that shimmery, but I really do enjoy it, and it smells so good like cocoa, kind of like the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer, and I'm oh, sorry, I totally ripped up the packaging, but it says that it's supposed to, um, it's infused with a warm set of warm vanilla and afterglow illumination and pheromone mimicking ingredients, including cat clinically tested andro something and cocoa ash extract which is you know the cocoa smell and um, ancient aphrodisiac horny goat weed to enhance your sexy side so um, I wore this to a party boys did talk to me I mean I don't know you can take that for what it is but I mean I just think that they smell good I didn't buy them for the sexy pheromones I just thought that this would be a good lip stain which you know it does wear off to keep that in mind it's not the best lip stain I've ever tried but definitely not the worst and then this is not really a bronzer but a highlighter but I'm really enjoying this lately so um, just keep in mind those two things and have so much fun on your Valentine's date or if you're hanging out with your friends or even if you're just staying in bed watching YouTube videos like I might be for the majority of the day have so much fun remember you are loved and I will talk to you guys later bye guys